Next thing that I'm going to do is use some real aloe vera. Come over and What's up guys welcome back for another freaking video i just want to apologize to you guys for starting off the video singing in which that is not the gift that god gave me but as you can see by the title i am here to give you a black man's bedtime skincare routine but if you guys are new here please consider subscribing right now to join the family and then after you guys do that turn on post notifications that way you become a part of the noto squad and you will not miss a single freaking <laughs> All right guys, so look, my forehead is clearing up. I just wanna get those dark spots cleared up for the most part. I got this, yeah, it's looking a little rough right here, but don't pay that no attention right now. We gonna look at this here bump right here that needs to go, you know what I'm saying? I've already had a talk with him to let him know, like, look, bro, you should get booted, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got that bump, and then, you know, I got these little rough areas right here, which we gonna get that completely under control. But since I'm getting ready to go to bed soon, I have not exfoliated in probably about like three or four days, and that's not like me, because usually I'll exfoliate at least twice a week. So I'm gonna go ahead and start exfoliating my face. I wanna say something about the fact that I do use St. Ives, and I have somebody comment in the comment section telling me that St. Ives is not good for your skin. And I said, whoa, 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 back up. St. Ives might not be good for your skin. St. Ives, the one that I use is the apricot scrub right here. I do have a link to that down below, just in case if you need something to exfoliate your face with. St. Ives might be bad for their skin, but it's not bad for mine. I don't appreciate when people come on to my videos trying to tell me what's not good for me. And I understand, you know, it's everybody's opinion in which I'm not tripping on. You are entitled to your opinion, but the thing is, don't try to force your opinion on everybody. Stating things like, oh no, don't get it because it doesn't work and this and that. No, don't do that. Just because it don't work for you does not mean that it does not work for anybody else. I say that because I've gotten, so to say, probably about hundreds of people saying, hey, to help me clear up my skin. It works for me, to say the least. Just don't comment anything like that, you know? Like, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, not to say that that was mean, but just in general, if you have nothing nice to say, then just don't say it at all. Didn't your mama teach you that? No? Oh, well, hey, if you haven't heard it anywhere else, you heard it here. If you have nothing nice to say, do not say it at all. But as you guys can see, I'm getting a nice little exfoliation session real quick before I go to bed. Hey, I think I got one of the apricot things in my eye. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up exfoliating my face real quick. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn the blue light on. Yeah, turn the blue light. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up my face. All right guys, so I'm done exfoliating my face. As you guys can see, I got a fresh cut today. But with that being said, I've already washed my face today, but the only thing that I did not do was exfoliate. So just because I exfoliated does not mean that I need to immediately wash my face. My face is technically clean since I've already washed it a few hours ago. So since we have everything out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my stuff to my face. My uh, Curology, you guys already know. Do not tell me that I ran out of Curology. Okay, they just gotta send me some more. This is all I have left. Looks like this thing is going straight to the trash. Come on now, ruined part of my freaking video. At least it's gonna go on the troubled area. Just a little bit of that stuff just went right here. So, I guess since I can't use any of that, that is my custom formula. That is my custom formula that removes all of the horrificness that goes on there. Now, I'm going to use the moisturizer. All right, I was about to say, but this moisturizer feels like it's getting a little light. I should have a package coming in pretty soon. I have some stuff that I do want to show you guys too that's going to be coming in my package this time that I'm really, really excited about, so I cannot wait to show you guys. Hopefully these things to be a real big game changer. I'm glad that I got some moisturizer left because boy, had I not had no moisturizer left, I would have been sick. I literally forgot to put my toner on before I did any of that. So you know what, I'm gonna just be backwards 
peppers and put some toner on right now. You know, I feel like it doesn't matter because it was all gonna be on my face, blended in together anyway. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put some toner on the cotton around. This toner, I should have a link to this toner in the description. It's this one right here. So just go ahead and look for it in the description and you guys should be able to find it. I got Amazon links down below. So you can go ahead and get you some skincare stuff or just buy whatever you want. So you guys know how I have this buff right here, right? Toner is really good with that. Just like a lot of people use like rubbing alcohol in which sometimes in an emergency when I don't have any toner, I use rubbing alcohol, but toner is the same thing with chisel. That's crazy how the cotton round has literally gotten all over my face. All right guys, so this next thing that I'm going to do is use some real aloe vera. Don't mind the brown part right here, it's just the plant, you know, don't trip off that. If you do have some aloe vera and it looks like that, don't worry about it, it's completely safe. This right here, real deal. Literally fresh from the backyard, literally pulled from the aloe vera plant. And all you do, is just rub it around your face like this. It has like a, a I don't know, Kind of like a slimy texture in a weird way, but this stuff is amazing for your skin. Just the health of your skin, amazing. Man, this is only my second time using it. And honestly, I'm still learning about aloe vera. I do know that it's, it's very, very good for your skin. So I just started using it. So you guys do not judge me because I don't know much about it yet, but I promise the next time that I use it, I will know a lot more. I feel like this stuff really stinks though. I don't know. I don't know if I'm tripping or not. This stuff just smells weird. It smells like a really weird weird plant. For the most part, I do know that it just dries out on your skin, so it's not just gonna sit, you know, like some type of substance on your skin. So the last thing I'm going to do to wrap this thing up is put some tea tree oil on my skin, so that way, you know, I can sit. This is the serum right here. This is what you guys need to invest in, some good tea tree oil. I do got a link to some of this down below. It is not this exact brand, but all tea tree oil is good tea tree oil for the most part. So just lather it up into my skin before I go to bed. And I am going to enjoy the rest of my night. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing right now. And then go ahead and turn on those post notifications so that way you guys do not miss a single freaking video. Then like I said before, you guys will then become a part of the Noto Squad you will not miss a single freaking video. I'm about to clean up my little mess that I made here and get ready to go straight to bed. See y'all in the next video. Hmm. What am I going to sleep to tonight? All right, random thunder. <sighs> Good night. I was just bull And you know this, man. Come over and